hello coders i hope you are coding well in the previous video we created the analytics api to get the orders and earnings analytics in our spring boot application and in today's video we will call this api and we will show these details in analytics component so let's get started in our angular application first of all we need to create the api call and to do that we need to open our admin service and here we can copy our get placed orders api call and we can paste it here and then we need to update the name of the method to get analytics and after this we need to update the url which should be slash admin slash order slash analytics and that's it for our service method now let's save this file and after this we need to create the analytics component and to do that we will right click on our components folder and we will open it in integrated terminal and here we will give the command which is ng g for generate c for component and we can name this component as analytics and you can see our analytics component is ready now let's open our admin routing file and here we need to create the route for this component and we can duplicate this faq route and for the path we need to set it as analytics and then we need to update the component as well and we will mention analytics component now let's save this routing file and let's open our analytics component and we will open the ts file and in this ts file first of all we need to create the constructor for this component and then we need to inject our admin service so we can call the api now let's click on quick fix and let's add the import and after this we will write ng on init method and in this ng on init method we will use our admin service and we will call get analytics method and then we will subscribe the response and we will name it as res and after this let's use console.log to log our response now let's save this file and let's run our angular application and as you can see our application is up without any errors now let's go to the browser and let's validate the functionality of our analytics api call and on our login page i will add the login details of the admin and then i will click on this login button and after logging in let's click on this analytics button and you can see we got redirected to the analytics page now let's right click here and let's click on inspect and then we need to click on this console tab and after this we need to open this object and as you can see we are getting the data from our backend application where we have two placed orders now let's go back to our angular application and let's write the html to show this data and here in our analytics.component.ts we will create a variable and we will name this as data and after the api call we will call this data and we will set the value of res in it now let's save this file and after this we need to show the orders by the status like number of placed orders number of delivered orders and to do that we will create a new component so we will right click on our analytics folder and we will open it in new integrated terminal and here we will write the command ng g for generate c for component and we will name this component as order by status and as you can see our order by status component is ready now let's open this order by status folder and let's open the ts file and in this file we need to get the data from our analytics component so we will use at the rate input and then we need to name this as data and the type of this will be any now let's import this input and we will click on quick fix and then update imports from angular core now let's save this file and let's open our html file of order status component and here in this html file we will create a div and we will give it a class of order status container and in this div we will write a mat card tag 
and mat card header tag and for the mat card we will give it a class of order status card and in this mat card header we need to show the avatar of letter p so we will write a div tag and we will write p in it and after this we will write a tag of mat card title and we will show placed in it and after the mat card header we will write the tag for mat card content and we will access data dot placed to show the number of placed orders and after this we will copy the same mat card and for the avatar we will update it to s and for the title we will update it to shipped and for the mat card content we will access number of shipped orders and after this we will copy this card one last time and we will show number of delivered orders now let's save this file and let's open our css file and i will paste the css code here and you can pause the video and you can copy the css code now let's save this file as well and let's open our analytics.html file and in this html file we will write a div and in this div we will write the tag for our app order by status component and we will pass our data and after this in this analytics component we need to write the code to show orders and earnings of current month and previous month and to do that we will write a div tag and we will give it a class of analytics container and after this we will write a tag for the mat card and in this mat card we will show the header and we will show orders in the mat card title and after the mat card header we will write a tag for mat card content and we will show current month orders and after this we will write another tag of mat card content and we will show previous month orders and after this we will copy the same analytics card and we will show the earnings of the current month and the previous month now let's save this file and let's open our css file and i will paste the code for the css and you can pause the video and copy the css code now let's save this file and you can see we got one error related to the property data in our order by status component so let's open the ts file and here we need to update the spellings and we will mention data instead of date now let's save this file and you can see our application got compiled successfully now let's go to the browser and you can see the view of our analytics where we are showing the placed orders shipped orders and delivered orders and after this we are showing the number of orders for the current month and previous month and we are doing the same for the earnings now let's go to our orders page and here i will click on this action button and i will update the status of this order to shipped and now let's go back to our analytics page and you can see we got one in the shipped now let's go back to the orders page and let's update the status to delivered and now let's go back to our analytics page and you can see our earnings and orders got updated as well and that's it for this video